Hello to everyone. In many videos I told you what kind of camera gear I've got, how I store the files and how I keep everything safe and order. But in this video I'm gonna tell you what you have to do once you get back home with all of these files, how to organize it and how to record everything without losing any files. Stay with me. Welcome back guys. First of all I have to tell you that the system I'm gonna show you now is very simple but it's not easy. It is the same like everybody know what you have to do to have more money. You have to spend less and earn more. It is very simple, but it's not easy. Everybody know what you have to do if you want to lose weight, to eat less and exercise more. It's very simple, but it's not easy. It is exactly the same when you try to make a long motorcycle videos. It is simple, but it's not easy. It takes a lot of a lot of time, a lot of hours spent on the computer, and the result is not always what you expect. But anyway, I'm gonna show you what it is. As you know, guys, I love comments and I usually reply to each and every one of you. This gives me a better opportunity to communicate with you and to provide exactly what you need. This is the case of this video. Cliff Spicer asks, can you maybe do a video on how much memory do you carry? How do you keep all of the batteries charged on a long trips? Do you use separate device like a laptop on the road to offload your data to free up space on your cards? And finally, your post-production workflow. Thank you very much, Cliff. This is a great question. I talk about this many times, but I'm gonna do it again. So first of all, I don't have any laptops with me, anything. What I do, actually, I keep all of the files, all of the SD cards in these small card holders. I've got two of these, in each one I can store uh, 10 SD cards. So on my last trip, I've got all together 17 SD cards and they were enough to record and store everything I need. I never carry a laptop with me and there is three very good reasons why. The first is because of the weight. I don't want to carry this extra five kilograms with me all the time. The second is because it could be damaged very easy. I need a special bag or a special storage space on my motorcycle to keep it safe which is impossible in most of the case and the third of course is the most important because it will take a lot of time even if i only want to offload the cards to the computer it will take sometimes hours because the cards are very big like 32 gigabytes or 64 gigabytes it will take many many minutes or hours just to load it on my computer and the second is if i try to edit everything while i write it will take again a lot from my uh, precious time instead of relaxing or sizing or whatever I want to do I need to to go with this so I think these reasons are more than enough for me to leave everything at home and travel as light as possible the pilot video about my camera gear and how I use it you can watch here okay let's jump on the computer now and I'm gonna show you what I do once I get back home with all of these SD cards all right, let's see now what I've got. Okay, first what, we, what I have to do when I get back home is to download all the SD cards to the computer. You have to keep in mind, guys, that these SD cards are they are very fragile. And this is the maybe the worst place to store all of your information. It is not the usual practice, but sometimes they fail and you can open it and find nothing. That's why the first thing I do when I get back home is to download all the video files I've got from the SD cards to the computer. What I usually do, I, I make this uh, a different uh, folder, let's say India trip. I, I, I name it India trip, but it's actually all of the countries I, I visited so far. And in this uh, India trip, I have the detail folders for each one of the countries, like uh, Pakistan, then I have India. Uh, then I have Nepal and after Nepal I have India too because uh, once I just left India, went to Nepal and then come again to India. So I prefer to separate the files once I am here before I start and I have another one Bangladesh. So in each one of these files, for example here, uh, India, I have two different folders, one for Contour and one for GoPro. In Contour file, I keep all of the, the, the files from the Contour camera which is obvious in GoPro folder, I have all the files from uh, GoPro. So this actually helped me when I try to organize everything later when I start recording. I have also a different folders from my uh, session camera. Uh, I don't have so many videos with the session. I have some from India, just one. And I have uh, many from uh, Bangladesh. 
and uh, again I have another one folder for uh, my Sony uh, videos from my uh, actually point and shoot camera I did some uh, time lapse and they're here in different folders so I know where they are and uh, when the moments come to need it I just open this folder and add it in the program I have another one from my telephone pictures pictures from my telephone made WhatsApp pictures pictures sent to me from friends and uh, they have two videos again sent to me by WhatsApp. I, I might use it somewhere uh, during the, the video processes. And then I have uh, WhatsApp images more here. So actually all of these folders are everything I've got from my trip. Once I organize everything and download everything, all the files and separate it to different folders, it's actually 50% of the job is done. This is the most difficult process to know what is what and what is where. After I finish with this, I actually open my uh, video program, Coral Video Studio X10. This is what I use at the moment. I'm not saying that this is perfect, but it's worked well for me because I use it for many years. I know how to use it. I know how to upload everything, how to record, and that's why I use it. Uh, do I recommend this? I don't know, guys. For me, as I said, work well. You can find many more programs, even free. So use whatever you want to use. But this is what I do, and uh, I, I use it because it's simple. So I have my, now my workflow here, and what I do, just insert videos, and I go to the folders I just told you. Let me find it, new project, okay, here. Okay, India trip, and let's, let's say India. And uh, I know that I'm going to start with my contour camera, so I upload uh, as, as many files I needed. L let's say these six files here. I just upload it in the program. And um, of course, uh, up the program immediately gives you the chance to set the proper resolution so to mm, skip or to, to make the post processing uh, after that just uh, as short as possible. So, this is, depends on your program. And once I've got all the files here, what I do actually basically is just start to cutting. Listen, watched, stop whatever I wanted, delete it like this. watch the entire file and go to the next one and this is actually the process which one depends from really from uh, okay so let's say I don't need this part here I stop it cut it remove the file and then I have the next one so this is this mixture how exactly you're gonna mix your files it depends from the files depends from the video uh, edition program you've got and what exactly you want to achieve this for these long trips I don't use some kind of uh, mixable elements between because it's a, it's a long, long process. And, and after all of my video files are already here, what I need to do is just to record in, in the proper resolution or whatever I want to, to do. This is, this is basically uh, what I do. Yeah, of course, uh, my computer is not so powerful. The program, the program is a bit slow. So once I'm ready, I just need to write the name here. Let's say part, part uh, 9. And uh, when I press this button, it's, it's go to the specific folder. I'm not going to save this now. And once it's, it's get to the folder, it's go usually to this folder here on the right hand side. I watch it once to see how the quality is. is. And after that, I, I remove it to another folder, which is YouTube new. So this is, uh, uh, you see, I have here India folder. And this is part eight, the one you already saw. So once I, I have it here in this folder, I check it how the quality is, uh, is everything okay, I just check is it work well and if everything is alright, I then again copy it from here and go and store it to my hard disk, like here. And I store it to my hard disk just to be sure that all the files are safe in one position. And uh, of course uh, I upload it in YouTube, which is uh, fine, I have it on YouTube. But in the case something happens with uh, my YouTube account, I'll be always able to go to my hard disk and download all the files I need. So this is basically everything, guys. I have nothing so serious, nothing so so um, difficult to show you. As I said, you can do it the way you want. So guys, now you know what I'm doing when I got back home with all of those files. I know that my system is not perfect and it could be done this way or that way. There are many suggestions, but this is the system I have created. I have learning during the years and it works fine for me. You can create your own 
there is no limit, there is no uh, some kind of models. You can do whatever you like. This is just one example or something to show you what you might do. As usual, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time. Ciao!